Good morning. I'm so glad you're here for Bible class this morning. Did you bring your Bibles? I have mine. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. What do we do with our Bibles? We read them, right? So we learn all about God and how much He lo loves us. Can you pat your Bible? Oh, I love to pat the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Oh, I love to pat the Bible, for it is God's Word. It tells me of Jesus and how much He loves me. Oh, I love to pat the Bible, for it is God's Word. All right, do you guys remember some other songs we've been singing? There's one, these three guys we've been talking about, right? Well, first we had who? Abraham, and Abraham had a son who was promised to him. His name was Isaac, and Isaac had sons that were promised to him. And the next one is Jacob. We're gonna finish talking about Jacob today. Can we sing our song? Once there were three wandering Jews. Once there were three wandering Jews. Wandering, wandering Jew, Jew, Jews. Wandering, wandering Jew, Jew, Jews. Once there were three wandering Jews. The first one's name was Abraham. The first one's name was Abraham. Abra, Abraham, ham, ham. Abra, Abraham, ham, ham. The first one's name was Abraham. The second one's name was Isaac. The second one's name was Isaac. I, Isaac, zig, zig. I, Isaac, zig, zig. The second one's name was Isaac. The third one's name was Jacob. The third one's name was Jacob. J, J, cup, cup, cup. J, J, cup, cup, cup. The third one's name was Jacob. They all went down to Canaan's land. They all went down to Canaan's land. Canaan, Canaan, land, land, land. Canaan's, Canaan's land, land, land. They all went down to Canaan's land. Good job. You guys remember that song so good. All right, let's try another song that I think you guys know really good. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. How about that? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. All right, let's see. I think you guys need to get up and move around some, so how about we sing this one? Are you ready to grow? Read your Bible, pray every day, and grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and grow, grow, grow. And grow, grow, grow. And grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and grow, grow, grow. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and shrink, shrink, shrink. And shrink, shrink, shrink. And shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and shrink, shrink, shrink. All right, let's sing one more while you're standing. Are you ready? I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy, for I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, are you ready to talk more about Jacob? 
right? Last time we saw Jacob last week, he had a dream, didn't he? He had a dream and in his dream while he was sleeping, he was sleeping on a rock, remember? He saw a big ladder going up into heaven and up and down on the ladder, were going up and down were angels. From the very top, he saw God, right? And after that dream, he made a promise to God, didn't he? That he was going to change and go back and, and live differently. So he, after that, he decided he had been living with his uncle and he had gotten married and had kids now, but he decided he was gonna go back to where he came from, back back to where Esau was. Remember, he left because Esau was really mad because he stole all that stuff from him, right? So Jacob was excited. He was excited to be taking his family back to his home and he prayed. He was kind of worried though. He was worried that Esau might still be mad at him. So he prayed that his brother Esau would be not be angry with him. It would forgive him. So just to be sure that his family it was going to be safe before they got there, while they were still a little ways out, he sent a messenger. He sent the messenger to let Esau know that he was coming, and he waited for the messenger to return. You know what? When the messenger came back, he told him he told Esau that he was coming, and you know what? He came back and told Jacob that Esau was coming to meet him, and he was bringing with him 400 men. You know what Jacob thought? Jacob said, that sounds like an army. Oh no, he is still mad at me. He was so scared. Do you know what he did more of? He prayed again, and he said, God of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, you told me to return home, and you would bless me. I know I don't deserve it, but I pray that you will keep us safe for my brother. And you know what? Jacob sent his servants with animals as presents for Esau and with cows and sheep and donkeys and their babies. He divided his family up into two groups as they got closer. He said, you know what? If my family, if he attacks maybe this group, then the second group will have a chance to escape. So he thought maybe one would stay safe. He could save half his family. But you know what? Once Esau got there, you know what Esau did? He was happy to see him. You know what? Do you think he might have hugged him? I think he could have. But he did. He forgave him. He wasn't mad at him. Those people were not to hurt Jacob, right? Jacob did. Esau did. He forgave him and took him back as his brother. And you know what? Jacob's family was able to be blessed and Esau's too. So Esau was nice and forgave him, even though Jacob had been really ugly and mean to him, right? Is it hard sometimes to forgive people? What about if you have someone who's being really mean to you? Sometimes it's easier just to be mean back to them, right? But we're supposed to forgive them and still try to be nice and do our best even though they might not always be the nicest person to us, right? And hopefully they'll change and they'll start being nice to us as too. All right, we'll review our lesson again on Wednesday night and sing some more songs. I'll see you then, bye.